A key goal of a document control system is to make sure that all critical documents used in the laboratory are accurate, accessible, and current. Documents need to be approved before they get into the laboratory. When documents in the laboratory come up for review and revision, the revisions need to be approved before management puts the document back into use. When management decides that certain documents are obsolete, these documents need to be removed from the laboratory and archived. The system needs to prevent the document from coming back into use. These steps help ensure that procedures in the laboratory are done consistently. While it may take time to administer, a simple paper document control system can meet all of the necessary quality requirements. Let's describe the key elements of a paper system in the context of a typical document life cycle. Initiation, implementation, review and revision, and archive. When documents are created internally or significantly revised based on an earlier version, they go through a review and approval process. Documents are routed with an approval sign-off sheet. When a reviewer is satisfied with the draft, he or she signs the sheet. All reviewers need to approve the document. At this point, the document's name is added to a master document log. This log also shows the document's approval date and other unique identifiers. External documents used in the laboratory, such as manufacturer's instructions, regulations, or standards, are also included in the master document log. In the implementation phase, management makes sure laboratory workers receive training on the document. This may involve a formal training class or simply having the individual read the document and sign a sheet to certify that he or she has read it. Once laboratory workers are trained, management places the document in the laboratory typically in a manual or a place that is easily accessible to those doing the work. Reviews may be triggered by a schedule, by an internal audit or inspection, by an individual who suggests changes to a document or a complaint or by a change in a manufacturer's instructions. Documents are pulled from the laboratory for review and approval. In some cases, the reviewers will determine that the document is okay as is and can remain in the laboratory with no changes. In other cases, the reviewers will decide that the document needs to be revised. The document will go back through the initiation phase. A sign-off sheet will travel with the document until all the reviewers have approved and signed off on the changes. Then management will make sure the master document log is updated and that any training or individual sign-off and certification is completed. Only then will management put the document back into use in the laboratory. Documents occasionally become obsolete. In this case, management removes the document from the laboratory manual 
and strikes it from the master document log. All copies of the document are taken out of the laboratory, and the document is placed in archive files.